top five tips for high rocks. Number one, high rocks is 50% of running race. Make sure your training reflects this. Getting some long steady runs in, some speed work, and then looking at compromised running is essential for your training. Compromised running includes pre-fatiguing the legs with potentially something like squats before going into your run. This is to reflect how you're gonna feel on the day. Number two, know the movement standards. Reading the rules prior to the race is the best way to ensure you don't receive a no rep, get pulled back for a movement standard, or even worse, receive a penalty. This can really affect your day, not only mentally, but also physically. Repeating reps is tiresome, so make sure you read those rules, check out some clips on YouTube to make sure you hit the standards correct, such as hitting below power on the wall balls, because no one wants to do 105 reps instead of 100. Number three, heavy sleds. Breaking the sleds into small, manageable chunks when you get there on the day is the best way to approach this, especially if it's your first time. So, trying to do one length in without stopping is only going to build up a lot of lactic acid in the legs and you'll really pay for it later on. So, practice the compromised running with heavy sleds and also be prepared to stop halfway, take a second, take a breath and then go again. Number four, the rock zone. People come under that 1k banner and think, I've made it, and they take the foot off the gas. This is a common mistake. That area between under the banner and, say, the ski still counts. So you've really got to make an effort and consciously make that effort because it's very easy to switch off, especially later in the race when you come under that banner and think, I've made it. So you've got to make that conscious effort to push through and run through. Yes, great, grab something from the aid station if it's needed, but get to that station and that functional movement as quick as possible because the race is still going on. Number five, hydration. You may have seen clips of really sweaty men running around half naked. That's because these events get really hot. So, number five is make sure you've got a hydration plan. That is grabbing fuel as you go from the hydration stations, but also beforehand making sure you've got the right hydration. Make sure you've got the right electrolytes in your system. And that starts not just on the day, but a couple of days out to make sure the body is primed and ready to go and loaded so when you're sweating it out you've got some in reserve and you can keep pushing through trying to help push that cramp back and hopefully make sure you get across that finish line just a little bit quicker 